So I'm going to remove the cowl on this, this plastic cowl piece below the windshield because the wipers are very slow. I made another video showing the fix on that. Um, I really don't want to have to take the cowl off. What you can do is spray some WD-40 here and try to soak these um, to get the, the wipers to move freely. But to really do the job right, I really want to disassemble these and re-grease them. That's the right way to do it. My worry is that if I just throw some WD-40 on them, that uh, you know they'll go. You know while you're trying to drive and it's raining, the wipers get slow again. So the right way to do it, in my mind, is to take this plastic cowl off and disassemble the bushings for the wipers and re-grease them and put it back together again. So that means taking this cowl off. Now the problem is, a lot of times these are so brittle that they'll break. So you have to be very careful taking them off. Um, probably going to end up breaking a majority of the clips. Um, if you're lucky, you might not. So far I've been lucky and I've got this corner up and I didn't break the clip and I didn't crack the, this plastic cowl. So get yourself some uh, these plastic uh, interior pullers. Uh, they're pretty cheap. I think it's like five bucks on Amazon. Uh, it's meant to you know take off interior clips and stuff like that, but they work great for other stuff too. So the trick with the cowl I found is to pry on it exactly where it's attached to the clips on the car. So the mounting points, right? So let's take a look and try to get my headlamp in there and see if we can see it. Well, you'll be able to see this one pretty easy, but uh, you see it right there. So I pried exactly where that is attached to the cowl, right? And that amazingly that clip didn't break. So now I'm looking, I'm pulling this up and I'm looking, trying to find the other clips, which I can see them, hard to see with the camera, but they're there. Uh, so just kind of carefully work your way and pry on both sides and pry where the clips are. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that right now. And uh, since I, you know, I can't hold the phone and do that, and let's see how successful we are. Okay, so I managed to take the cows off without doing too much damage. Uh, this side, I broke a few clips. There's probably enough left of the clips um, that it's gonna be okay. I can, this side, I didn't break any clips amazingly, so I can probably sneak or steal a, a clip from that side, one, and put it over here. It doesn't take much to hold these in. Um, you know, they're not gonna come flying off because the wipers hold them on, so I might take them off some other time and get some new clips from from a seller, seller online, I think MKS has them. Anyways, uh, this driver side actually comes off first because it overlaps with the passenger side. And you can just see like, you know, the plastic's cracking there, you know, these things are just so old and brittle. Um, I think even somebody makes uh, new cowls, if I, I believe. Anyways, I can't remember, but Good luck trying to find any used ones that are any good. Um, you know, it's just these old, you know, these cars are almost 40 years old now and you're just fighting the old plastics on these cars. It's just, you know, it's a real challenge. So now is a good time to get in there and vacuum all that crud out of there. And there's going to be a ton of crud down in here. Oh my God, there's just going to be, you know, these have probably never been off before. So there's just decades of dirt and debris stuck in there and you know water pools up in there and that's a common place uh, where these cars get rust because the the drainage you know where they're supposed to drain I believe it's somewhere uh, behind the fender uh, all the water drains down in there and it gets clogged up with all that debris and water sits in there and it rusts so that's a very common place for it to rust so um, Good thing is I've got it most apart without any damage, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take these linkages off. I do cover that in another video and get them re-greased up and get it all back together and have some functioning wiper blades. So thanks for watching. If you like my channel, please like and subscribe and hopefully I have some more videos uh, in the near future. Thank you.